Today, we are exploring model management. So as you can see, we are in our 3D environment and we have hidden the local system for clarity. Now, let's visualize the analytical ID of our plate objects. This will help us identify them more easily. Next, to restructure our model management, we'll be renaming some of these objects. We will start by focusing on the bottom plates, then move on to the front walls followed by the wing walls, and lastly the bridge deck. Remember, you have the flexibility to assign these objects according to your own preferences. Once we are done renaming, we will organize our objects systematically. We can achieve this by pressing the filter icon which allows us to visualize our objects and then we'll rearrange them by assigning proper numbering starting from one and counting upwards. Now, let's standardize the concrete class of all objects to C3545 to ensure consistency across the model. Additionally, we'll set the limit state dependent creep parameters. However, given the different cross sections of these objects, we'll need to approach this step carefully addressing each object individually. We'll adjust the creep coefficients for each object, ensuring accuracy in our calculations. Let's look at the dimensions of these objects. Bottom plates, 0.7 meter thickness. Front walls, 0.6 meter thickness. Wing walls, 0.47 meters thickness. Bridge deck, variable thickness ranging from 0.97 meters to 0.52 meters. <laughs> 